Hello and welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we are going to take a closer look at the Musgrave Harvest Number no. 2 Pencil Professional Version. So they, they being Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville, Tennessee, uh, came out recently with a professional version of their Harvest Pencil, which has been a mainstay for Musgrave for many, many years. And I was anxious to try them. I always enjoyed the standard Harvest Pencil uh, in both the number two and number one core. But, uh, and as a matter of fact, I recently reviewed the Harvest number one not too long ago here on Always Analog. But now we're going to take a look at the Harvest number two professional series. Well, first thing right off the bat, it comes in this really beautiful box uh, in the you know, bright yellow gold pencil color. Uh, Musgrave Pencil Company 320, uh, which is the model number, Harvest 2, number 2, bonded lead, USA, one dozen, fine quality, genuine cedar writing pencils. And then on the side here, in gold foil, you have the Musgrave logo, Musgrave Pencil Company. On the other side, in gold foil, you have a, I'm going to try to zoom in this a little bit. You have the Harvest Bonded Lead Musgrave USA 320 and then the two. Basically, the imprint that appears on the pencil itself right here. Um, and then on the back side, you have the Musgrave logo. Um, established 1916, Musgrave Pencil Company, and uh, Shelbyville, Tennessee, USA, uh, where American pencils are made. And then uh, here we have the uh, Musgrave Pencil Company is a family-owned factory operating in Shelbyville, Tennessee since 1916. Through steady management, dedicated employees, and loyal customers, we've been providing manufacturing jobs and an American-made product for more than 100 years. MusgravePencil.com So, there. There's the whole box. And I will say that the inner tray that holds the pencils is in a con contrasting, beautiful... Uh, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but it's a beautiful sort of burgundy color, which is the same color that the traditional Musgrave pencil uses as a band around the ferrule at the tip of the pencil. Now, as we sort of unveil these in their beautiful box, the ferrules on the professional version are just solid, shiny, brass tone um, ferrules with the red eraser and then there are the pencils and the uh, gold foil imprint harvest bonded lead musgrave usa 320 number two a beautiful pencil and you can't smell them like i can but yes they have that cedar smell and uh they are a, you know, very beautiful, handsome pencil uh, right here. Love the, uh, they kind of bling out a little bit uh, with the uh, gold foil Im imprint and the shiny uh, ferrule. So this is a, a hex pencil. Yeah, we'll come in here. And you can see um, there's a little paint 
uh, overflow onto the very edge there, but the paint job on these pencils is, is really nice. Really nice. Very nicely done. And it's got a good, tight ferrule fitting here at the top. We'll just see how these erasers perform, but um, just looking here at, at them. Uh, you know, really, I will tell you that they look all very nicely centered, the core, that is, in the pencil. Yep, very nice. So, here's my dozen of the Musgrave Harvest Professional pencil, number two, and uh, we'll get one sharpened and see how it writes. We are sharpened up here with our Musgrave Harvest pencil. And upon sharpening the pencil, more of that wonderful cedar aroma is revealed. And it sharpens beautifully. Uh, the wood, uh, as it's cut by the sharpener, and I used an electric sharpener here, just smooth, uh, completely smooth, just beautiful. Uh, uh, took a point very nicely. So, let's see how we do here. Now, Musgrave pencils, um, the ones that are uh, hex-shaped, um, have a sharper corner uh, edge to them. Uh, some people, they find them a little uncomfortable. It doesn't bother me at all. But, you know, that's the beautiful thing about pencils. There's a million of them out there and one for, for everybody. So we've got, oh, I can tell you right now, what a smooth, beautiful writing pencil this is. Wow, just glides across the page. Just a beauty. Yeah, very nice. Um, wow. You know, it's one of those pencils that the minute you, the, the moment you start writing with it, you know, you, you just love the way it feels. And that is exactly the, what I'm getting from this. Let me pull in a little bit here. We can do some more kind of investigating. Yeah, so nice, smooth, fairly quiet pencil. You know, sometimes even on the microphone, it really picks up the scratchy uh, nature of some of the pencil cores. Uh, as and, and, and this is a fairly smooth paper, um, but uh, this pencil really is like butter, just really smooth. Yeah, really smooth. Hmm. You know, I'm going to have to go and try a standard 
harvest pencil uh, standard issue and see how it compares to this because I don't know if I remember that pencil writing this nicely uh, in terms of its feel but yeah really nice And it's a softer number, too. Uh, take a look, see where the point's at. Uh, it's doing okay, but it's, it's definitely, uh, the sharp edge has, has worn. Let's um, put a little of this core on our paper in a more bold way here. And you can see that line. It's dark and bold. And not, not a terribly long smudge line here, but uh, there is one. But not, and it not uh, real dark, but uh, there's you can see we've got a little bit here. Now, erasability. Here we go with the eraser on the pencil. Let's give this a try, see how we do. Well, okay. Ah, uh, boy. I wish the eraser did a little better job than it's doing. Uh, it's probably a 90% erase there, but um, you can still certainly see the shadow. Um, we'll try a few of our auxiliary erasers. Of course, I always go to a, a pink pearl because it's something that many people use. And it's a good eraser. And yes, it is a good eraser here. Um, took way more off the paper than the installed eraser on the pencil. Uh, I'll try a, a, uh, a rubber here, natural rubber eraser. Let's see how we do with that. Okay, mm, all right, about as good as the one on the pencil. Oh, let's try a synthetic rubber. That did a good job. Uh, what else we got over here? Try more of a vinyl style. Okay, so, you know, in terms of erasability, uh, yes, you can get the mark off the page, um, but don't, don't count on the eraser on the pencil to, to get you there, but certainly is erasable with, if you have a, if you have a good a good eraser. Um, I'm going to put another little point on this. Let me try a manual sharpen. Okay, sharpens evenly. Nice ribbon of shavings there. Uh huh. Okay. Um,
Yeah. Well, so look at all this. And I will tell you, it was a delight to write with this pencil. I like this pencil. This is a nice writing pencil. Again, I wish the eraser was a little better, but in terms of point retention, um, erasability with a good eraser, um, the way it sharpens, and the way it just glides across the paper, um, dark line, silky smooth, really nice. So the Harvest Musgrave number two professional and boy, let's just look at this. And then, you know, you get the icing on the cake. You get this beautiful box that it comes in. And uh, I'm glad I bought these. Really nice. I'm going to enjoy writing with these pencils. So thank you for joining me for this review. And I look forward to seeing you again here on Always Analog.